I went to the post office to mail my wonderful payment to Holy Name Hospital in Teaneck. $1,000? Oh, they're not getting a $1,000. They're getting a hundred. They're getting what I give them. Um, then what happened was, I, I look around, there's only one person working behind the counter, long line, and I'm looking around, and every millennial that was in there was like this, with the smartphone right up to their face, texting. It's like, all the older people that weren't millennials, they can't talk. They were, they were like, they, cannot talk they, they don't have the ability to communicate with another human being. Got it's got to be buried. They're both on that phone for some reason. Man, it's and of all people that knew, look what I grew up in. The guy that created me to IBM. Yeah. My dad warned me in the 50s, late 50s, this is going to destroy us. But that's international business machines, not to be hypnotizing the public. Yeah, but that's all computers are going to do. Why do you think my term paper in high school, Something. back in 68, was called, think about how far ahead I was at the curve. 68, my term paper was called Computers, Trick or Treat. I think you got a lot of your insight and intuitiveness from your father. That's why I don't, I don't buy into this stuff. Because it's like they, they it's almost like it's it anti like, it's antisocial. They don't want to talk like to they're being assimilated. They don't realize yeah. and look what they found out about brainwave activity. It's causing more depression, more suicides, a little right. bit. Look at the subliminal words it's in, in certain advertisements that people don't get it. Right. My dad also said you just can't get through to people. It, but they it's won't listen. but it's they will it's not it's listen. almost like they're so self absorbed they don't wanna really talk to anybody. Yeah. They don't want to communicate. Well, that's fine. But you're still talking on a goddamn phone. And you can so get. If you don't want to talk, just sit there. And what if you get hit by a truck or a bus? You know, oh well. Which they all do. They all. How, how many deaths have been caused by texting while driving? Main Street and Lodi. I yeah. see kids, young kids, crossing Main Street with with the smartphone up to their face like yeah, this. People are idiots. And like this. Boop, they're boop. Idiots, they're idiots. <laughs> I watch families in here four. Nobody talking. Listen, when I when, when I walk, when I walk, I look both ways, like my grandparents taught me, straight ahead both ways, constantly, and I keep my my phone down. When I get when I get in the car, well, I don't I don't use the phone. You know that. My yeah, I know. Talking, well, you, receiving, yeah. making calls. That's all. Yeah, I do. I will not text. I never will. No, but but I have to. I learned working. Years ago in uh, the Meadowlands hub of UPS, when you're working in a plant, f a factory, you always have to be, because of OSHA, you have to be aware of your environment at all times. Because at any given time, an accident can happen. Anywhere. You ever see my buddy that comes in in the morning? Huh. Right, what happens? A very, very high up OSHA investigator. Oh, really? And the photos he shows us. You know how many violations UPS no, had? He shows us the in, guy that got, sea got caucus. sucked into a uh, cement mixer. Ooh. And he said, look. I said, oh my God. My friend Mike and I said, we can't get that image out of our... Or but, tree, but, cut, tree cutters or... or but uh, Craig, is, Craig is the first that has to go. A street cleaner. Craig uh, is an OSHA investigator. And, uh, oh boy, the stories he tells us. Uh, there was a there was a um, a mishap that happened in a late night shift uh, at UPS and C Caucus where the where the 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 unloading department the truck backed up and did not there was no signal that one of the manager what in the ma yeah one of the managers were was down like picking something up a package or something and backed up and crushed him and crushed him because it was it was a lack of awareness of what was in other words the truck drivers just backed right up into the, into the unloading bay you're supposed to call and tell the, 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 the switcher what which bay to do somebody missed up on the communication there i'm sure the, the family had a humongous lawsuit against ups yeah. But you're, you know, you're not talking about the brightest bulbs on the Christmas tree. Doesn't when matter. You, when it you comes have that kind of a job to do. You've got yeah. to be a bright. And they get paid well, the management for UPS. They get paid very well, upper management. But um, no, I used to see packages get smashed all the time. You know what managers used to say? No, don't worry about them. Speed, speed, unload the truck right away. Let's go. Bah, bah, bah. That's, not, that's not management. I'd rather wait 
Billy one or two days later and get my package guaranteed safe delivery. My friend got a new in TV perfect condition. About eight, eight months or so ago, a new flat screen TV center was all broken. All cracked and everything. Inside. Despite the foam, the, um, the 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 foam that's inside the um, styrofoam. The had to be extremely mishandled. Well, they are mishandled because they're they're so obsessed you with speed. And call them and say blah blah blah. And, and why must why must people today get their package like practically overnight? Can't people wait for their friggin' well, parcel? That's like you said, you they're being assimilated. They're being categorized, and they don't realize what's happening. To them. Yeah, I mean, it is a form of a cult. It's a sickness, it's a mental illness. They say it's not. remember the just last week, the yeah. World Health Organization. It's considered mental illness. They're addicted. What it does to brainwave activity, and how come I? You know, how, illness, how, how come I have no desire? Why am I the? How brainwashed? come you're not brainwashed? How come I'm not I brainwashed? No part of it. I want. Well, you're set up to go. I want no part of it. Though. I yeah. want no part. But, of but, it. but you notice, I I will converse with human beings. I I'm not like the millennial. I will look around and I will talk to people. I'm not hypnotized. People can't talk. But, but even this simple brainwashing every day, you know. My grand, like my grandmother, you know, like not my grandmother, but you know, people in general, they. And you look at most of the shit what they're doing. There's nothing. Playing a game. They believe just because an advertisement's on primetime TV that it must be the best. They don't get it. That it must be absolute, the absolute finest. You know? A f friend of mine, um, who's trying to raise three young children who applied for the government state program, got got qualified. It's called Winter, it's in Hackensack, the main office, Winterization Assistance for Low Income Families, where they come to your house and they, they measure your windows and they put in new windows. Well, we have a Democrat governor now, Phil Murphy, uh, who defunded it. She, she just told that we don't have the funds to do it. And and then you know what I found out? Phil Murphy was a was a, is a former Wall Street well, no, boy, like Corzine, like John Corzine. Now, if you're a Democrat and you're a Wall Street Democrat, the, you might as well just be a Republican. Look at who we've had Florio, the Greenfield. like New Jersey is. Oh. You know, the United Healthcare told me on the phone. They said um, even the Hartford. They said that New Jersey. It's such a tough state for insurance companies. It's so corrupt. There's, there's so many sleazy, sleazebag lawyers and politicians in New Jersey. And why? Yeah, that's a good question. I mean, why Jersey? Why does it have to be there? Hey, look what happened to you in Ridgewood. They didn't back you up. Well, it was Ridgewood. It was the, the law, the system, the county. The just, uh, they're all a bunch of fuck -ups. You You totally got shafted. <laughs> Big time. <laughs> Who's your girlfriend today? Uh, oh, I don't know, but all I know is I know the plan we have, and the plan we have is going to be beautiful because when, when we execute it, she's going to have a meltdown. And the meltdown is going to be the best entertainment since. Well, I don't know. No, no, but, but anybody who. Anybody who abruptly leaves with that lunatic well, and doesn't say he jumped up and left, she jumps up. Well, they're, they're both freak. Like they're both they're both freakazoids. Like, what is this whole about? Yeah. No, we knew where she left. I I don't well, even. I'm going to tell her you you found Jerry's phone number on the computer. I don't even want to hear about her stupid my guy anymore. Like, if she ever brings that up, I say, ah, ah, no. Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, you're right. Your guy, your guy. I should I should get that video up on YouTube and play it. Of what? The song. No. no don't waste your time. Just what she's in here. No, she's she's, she's, a, she's a pathological liar. Ask her. Is she a pathological liar? Or a chronic liar? Is our acquaintance the lunatic no, here at McDonald's? Here at McDonald's, the lunatic Eileen. Is she a pathological liar? I, our so-called acquaintance Eileen. The 
me to try? Would you give it a chance to move, please? No. You've got the eebie-jeebies all the time. No, I just get a better Look, swing. what swing? Look, it's, it's swinging clockwise, man. There it goes. It just has to, you know, it's like you a carburetor in the old car. Is that what it's like? It's got to warm up. You got to get that cosmic now, energy. Who told you it's got to warm up? Oh, I don't know. I just made that up. I know you did. Just like you asked her about being a pathological liar. Okay, go ahead. I'm just grateful we have central air conditioning now. <laughs> what do you want to ask? Oh, I don't know. Um, will the central air conditioning be permanently fixed in the near future? Something important, really. Oh, Donald Trump is uh, meeting with NATO. Um, is he, would he be a disaster to NATO? Well, he already is. Yeah, he insulted them. Yeah, well, he already is a disaster. Oh, no, you know what lie he got caught in? About the amount of money that NATO's spending on, on defense. He, he says that they're hardly spending well, but he, but he was spending right, much. CNN showed the countries that are not paying 2% required. You know, there are quite a few that should. Well, he's, yeah, he's he, right about that part. Yeah. Um, oh, it's photon therapy. Does Donald Trump kiss Russia and Putin's ass because Putin has something big on Trump? Great question. Look at that. Well, it's obvious he's kissing Vladimir Putin's ass. Yeah, but I want to verify. Yeah. So there you go. Big swing right away. Because Putin has something on him. Something big. And I think it goes beyond the two Russian uh, prostitutes with the, with the urinating. Which would be a hell of a video if it ever got out. The infamous peepee -pee girls. It's hard to believe that's an actual fetish. Golden showers. Remember that? We used to call it that. You remember what I was told about Trump over 30 plus years ago about, about that big broker? The Goldman Sachs? That probably knew him well. He, he told me, he, before Trump was a big name, and he told me, sitting at the Daily Treat in Richwood, he said, This guy Trump is a huge, huge fake. He's a front man for a consortium. And, 30 and, years ago. And, who, and who knows what dirt his, his father. Was involved. Why, in. How did he become a front man? Why? No, he's a, a, a stooge, a shill, right? Um, Maybe that's where you're swinging. You're holding it over your fingers. Don't do that. No, you know what I'm doing? I'm bracing. Nah, see, don't. look, see my elbow. See how I hold it? And it doesn't swing, Jimmy. Just hold it. Oh, just hold it. Not around the finger. You mean like? Yes, there you go. Oh, but can I still brace it like this or no? Well, if you don't move when you're talking, when you're talking, your forehead might move. Okay. Is there a lot more to President Donald Trump that meets the eye? Okay. Yes, there is. Is is Donald is President Donald Trump? In cahoots with Russia. No, you didn't stop the swing, though, Jimmy. You gotta stop Is the President swing. Donald Trump really in cahoots with Russia? Okay. Hmm. Gee, that's why he's probably insulting our NATO allies so much. Oh, that's sad. He puts down our own intelligence agencies. Come on to this country. And our allies. Do you hear what the one guy said this morning? And he loves to fire people. Do you hear what the one guy said this morning? Was that Pompeo? No, I forget who it was. It was NATO. Another foreign leader. He goes, Mr. Trump, you have very few allies left. Merkel is not fond of him at all. Who is? Uh, Germany Chancellor. Yeah, who is fond of him? I can't, I can't think of anyone. I can't believe it. Besides Putin. Are any of the world leaders fond and fond of Donald Trump? Look at that, how quick it went. Yep, look at that. See? He might just bring down the Republican Party. Well, they might get rid of it before that ever happens. Yeah. Hopefully, but 
they seem to be kissing his ass too much. Well, if, if, if they see that NATO alliance is in grave danger, look, you might be right. You might very well be right. I can't believe that, that New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy did that. And he's supposed to be a compassionate Democrat, and ending a, a program for low-income people. I don't think they should go for either one. They should do what's right. But he's, a, but he's a Wall Street Democrat like John Corzine. They should do what's right, not what's Democratic right. or Republican. How come I'm a registered Republican, but I vote for yeah. who I think is best? You notice everybody who had ties to Wall Street and ends up being... Yeah, for the... Yeah, why, tax, you, you ran out of funds. Tax the rich. When are you going to tax the rich? Murphy? You never encounter, it's very rare to encounter someone else with a sense of humor. It's like Momo's when you're online at, at a supermarket. Because everybody's out to rape you. We're all they, they out got, to rape you. That's right. Get in line. When I'm in all these, they're like, they're like mannequins. No, actually, mannequins look better. But not everybody, I take subject, that. We haven't heard a thing on the news about the... Uh, the lava flow in the volcano in Hawaii. Mount, Mount Kilauea, what what's, happened what's to happened? it? Nobody, I have said, not seen enough. Do, do, you, do you notice how headline news tends to be like a fad? It changes, then like, they stop it. Yes, then, then you don't hear a damn thing about Ugh. the headline news. Now, last time I saw photos, the lava was pouring into the sea and, and houses were, homes Roads were getting were burned. Blocked. Farms were destroyed, were being destroyed. Because the big island has a lot of agriculture. And now they want to make you know stars out of these kids from the cave. I'm, like, oh, I'm glad they're safe. Yeah. I'm glad they're okay. But you know what? I'm happy. They don't make stars out of something. No. It was a they're gonna, stupid thing they did. They're gonna they're gonna get invited to all the talk shows. They're all gonna, yeah, they're gonna make a big deal. Maybe make action figures out of them. But I am happy everyone was rescued. Oh sure. Uh, I mean, my God, you, you know, don't see any harm because I think the water level was, the water level was rising, William. Who's that? <laughs> oh, look who it is. What are you coming this way for? She don't live that way. Yes, she does. She lives that way. I know, I know. Because I... Yeah, truck oh, oh. Bangladeshi. You know, I tried the, the red basmati rice oh, that they eat. I had that beer today. Uh, dogfish head? Yeah. It's, it's light. It's light. light. It's light as a dickens. It sucked. Suck. I knew exactly when you said. Oh, you like you like weak ass beer, man. Said, I like Miller and I like Coors. That's cheap. Well, that's that's like <laughs> seltzer water with alcohol in it. Just come on, man. Man, God is 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 supposed to be macho, this, man. This, macho. Jimmy, shut up for a minute. <laughs> this tasted exactly how I knew it would taste when you said Indian. Well, it's not oh, from God. India, but you know it's how like, it got the name? No, when it has the Indian name, it's going to be a mushroom taste. Do you know how it got the name Indian? You know what it tastes like? Every other Indian beer I've had. It's not Indian beer. But it doesn't matter. They have the word India Ale or whatever. It tastes just like But you know why it's called India Pale Ale? No. Because on a voyage, the British um, uh, cargo ship was transporting oak barrels of but ale. It tastes just like another Indian beer. It's just aged differently. You know what's another one horrible? It's that Jamaican beer. It's you from have that? Red Stripe? That sucks. I've had bad, I have a lot of bad beers. That's I don't like worst. that one. That's one of the you worst. know what's worse? Polar of Venezuela. When I was in Venezuela and Caracas. You know what I found out? It was like seltzer you know with what alcohol. I found out? What? Was, I mean, foreign beers. So. No, I, 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 you haven't had good British brown ale. I don't like warm beer. You ever have Newcastle brown ale? No, no not warm. Ice cold, but dark. Well, I don't like dark beers. But that's that puts hair in your chest. No, it doesn't. Uh, but that it's, the, it's full body, the no, flavor. It's not. It sucks. It's musty. It tastes like crap. Or you don't like the like the bitterness from the hops, maybe. I don't like that at all. In other words, you don't like the strong uh, malt, uh, barley. Well, uh, they make the bigger sellers like Coors and Budweiser. That's cheap milk. ass chemical laden no, crap. No, you go with your health crap. You're wrong. Listen, it, you, you ever like, hear craft beer? The term craft beer. A lot beer? of them suck that I've had. They suck. Now, why do they suck? Because they're, they're bitter. They have a musty smell. Taste. But that's from the hops and the and the malted I barley. I don't like that. Okay, I just you do. I right. don't. All right. It sucks. I said, oh. You, you don't. I'm surprised that you found the dogfish head to be. I knew it. It tastes 
exactly how I knew it would taste. But when, when you said India, okay. remember I said to you. But here, when I gave I you, said, oh, no, no, now no, how no, is no, the Genesee cream ale? I told you those two were good. I told you. You that. like that, and you like the Yinling Lager. Yeah, I told you both were good. Don't go back to those. When it said Indian, well, I knew. But right I'm trying way. to. No, but uh, when it said Indian, I knew it. So this is going to I'm taste trying to uh, analyze what you like and what you hate. Uh, I'm just trying to. I'm, I'm trying to. I don't like craft beer. Now the uh, Yinling Lager was a dark craft beer, but you liked it. Yeah. But, but it was an IPA. But I still like my basis, Coors and Miller Genuine Dry. And you like Rolling Rock, Rolling Rock which I can't. It's too weak for me. I oh. can't. And you know, that's, the, that's the beer you see on almost every TV show. They're all drinking Rolling Rock. Isn't that amazing? You know, I heard Old Milwaukee, which won taste test uh, competition, is not even from Milwaukee. It's, it was made by Stroh's Brewing Company in Detroit. Stroh's, what are happened to them? Oh, you remember Stroh's? Fire. You know where I first saw Stroh's? When my un aunt and uncle lived but whatever happened? on the Chesapeake Bay yeah, in whatever, Maryland, whatever happened? I don't know. They, they gave me stro they had my yeah. my uncle had a case of he had a cool little full of Strohs. We get a whole story about Strohs. Whatever no. happened? No, it said fire brewed well, whatever on, happened? on the on the can. I've asked you four times. No, I'm more interested in the recipe of how they make it. Not to me. You're not going to get it. Call them. No need to talk about the. You want to hear about the the corporate? The, who makes it? The company. A simple thing. Whatever happened? I, to they went. Uh, they probably got bought out, and went, I don't know. Well, that's it. See how quick you can get to an answer. But they. But they. I think it's. It might still say Stroh's Brewing on the old Milwaukee. But um, fire brewed, and it had a picture of a hearth with, with coals. Whatever that meant. I, I guess it meant that. I'm getting a whole history of Stroh's. Fire now. brews. How would you like a recipe on sourdough starter for sourdough bread? You don't like that. You don't want to cook, do you? Oh, well, look, you buy cheese with you buy cheese whiz and friggin' Velveeta. Oh, and you know all about exquisite cheese. I know about exquisite real cheese. No, you don't. No, you don't. Fromage. No, you don't. It's French for you don't cheese. Know what good is? You don't know what good. I have a I have a group called Everything Is Food. All international food and you think fine liquors. You know how many experts I have on my group? Experts, gurus. On Facebook, every, everything is food. I like it. Eat the crap. I like. I agree with Buffett. Eat the crap. Because Buffett probably made his money in other ways. He it? just says, eat the shit. Don't worry about it. You people are old. Oh, what if Buffett goes eat. belly up before his time? He's 87 already. He said, hey, come on. Oh, he's almost 90. He's 87. Almost 90. Yeah. Jesus, Jimmy. That probably means he's got good genetics. Like you. You, you must have good genetics, you know why? Because you smoke and you're still like, uh, you know, sharp as a tack. But I like the, uh... You should really quit, though, well, honestly. I like the, uh, I like Velveeta. Listen to your doctors. Like... Jimmy, calm down. Listen to your doctors. No, I don't. I like, I like the Velveeta and I love the cheese. They should really yell at you. No. You should be scolded. You really should quit. Listen to doctors. They never make uh, misdiagnoses. Yeah, but misdiagnosis with 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 the nicotine and the chemicals in your in the cigarette. Oh yeah, yeah. I've I've shocked more people when I said look up the goddamn health benefits of smoking from the Duke University. Well, not the cigarettes they have now. From the Duke University study for over ten years. I've had people sit here and look it up and go, holy shit, you're not kidding. I said, I'm, maybe why would I kid you? Maybe when Native Americans smoke pure tobacco out of their peace pipes. The Duke University study for 10 years. So you go like that. How come the AMA is so dead set against smoking? Well, how come the American Dental Association recommended number one list mouthwash rinse is Listerine? Listerine was ranked number one for causing oral cancer because of an overabundance of alcohol. Okay, so ADA, AMA, the whole bit. Does it mean they know okay, what they're doing? Okay, so what you're what you're saying is isopropyl alcohol when when it goes when it goes up real quick, real quick. it has too much alcohol causes oral cancer. No, not real quick. You have nothing better to do. Yeah, but no, I want to get to the point of the discussion. You're going to get all. Okay, what you're saying is too much alcohol. Now why aren't you discussing the Duke University? In the mouth. Why aren't you going because, all the Duke? Because it sounds preposterous. There you go. Selective belief. You believe what you want to believe. <laughs> you see? No, I'm, the Listerine fascinates me. 
too no, much no, no, alcohol no, no, and no, no, no. what about hydrogen peroxide diluted? Is that okay? Hydrogen peroxide as a mouthwash. Because you know that that kills Jimmy. Ger- what I just black. told Jimmy about the Duke University study about the health benefits of can you settle down? Duke University benefits of smoking. That's outrageous. Does Jimmy and Madonna have selective <laughs> beliefs? I'm not inventing this bad um, um, press on smoking. It wasn't invented by Jimmy hey, and Madonna. Hey, hey, I didn't make up this stuff about the Duke, Duke University. I'm not saying you're either, wrong. But you didn't accept it. Oh, you went because I was, like, shocked. I, I can't Studies be shocked. Studies can do that to you. Studies can do that to you. What about lung cancer? What does Duke say about lung cancer? They were talking that the study was about the health benefits of smoking. I told you about lung cancer over and over again. How many doctors, everybody says, we see more people with lung cancer that have never touched a cigarette. You ever, you ever see the new articles about coffee? Now they're saying it extends your life. Our cigarettes. Coffee drinking. As dangerous and deadly as the medical community would have us believe. Mm-hmm. There you go, buddy. You won't look at it, will you? Uh, I'm, I see it. Okay. They're saying a little bit of alcohol, a little bit of hard liquor or wine. Is it wine is healthy? A little uh-huh. bit of booze is healthy. And then healthy. they change it. Then coffee too much was bad for you. Now it's good to drink more coffee. Extends your life. Oh, then next few months is going to kill you. You watch. Well, then they're out of their minds. Because well, I, I already read three articles on coffee and says it, it, it vastly extends your life. I just showed you everything. Maybe there's antioxidants in coffee. Maybe there isn't. Maybe they're lying to us. See, selective belief. Maybe there is. Maybe there isn't. I said the other side. I was talking to someone about um, how the government hides uh, alien existence. It's the worst killer of all stress. Now that I agree with you. I'm going to go on by itself. Then we don't call. There you go. You're right about stress, man. You, you know, peace of mind is is incredibly healthy for anybody. I I now know that. Goes back to Warren Buffett. Eat the crap. Stop worrying about it. Maybe Warren Buffett's longevity is due to the fact that he's a, he's happy and he has peace of mind. Maybe it isn't. Go both routes. Man. Maybe it's so genetics. Maybe, it, maybe it isn't. We don't know. Right, we don't know. You. That's the argument. You say one side, I'll say the other side. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. Like, for instance, you're just as alert now as you were when I first met you. So? Well, uh, uh, I've seen people, I've, I've run into people that I knew from the Players Club that are decrepit, not that everybody. are like Quasimodo. Every, it doesn't happen to everybody, Jim. I'm, I'm no kidding. Point, it doesn't happen to everybody. Decrepit, when I say decrepit, we, it doesn't happen to everybody. They make that Ray and Eileen look like friggin' uh, no, no, uh, no, uh, quantum physicists. No, no, I, I don't buy that either. No, but these people partied and they and it took its toll, man. Oh, no, maybe something happened to them too. Yeah. You don't know the whole story. But then again, you have man got genetics. That's you know, I mean, you have special genetics, Anunnakiism, or beyond. I felt like when it says I am. Remember when uh, uh, um, uh, Jay Leno said he was a Beyonder? Beyondo? He played Beyondo? And maybe he's telling the truth. He knows that people were ignorant, wouldn't believe it. Think it's a joke. Is the best way to fool most people to simply tell the truth? Because people are ignorant? Well, uh, Joseph Goebbels. There you go. You know, they still, they still apply Joseph Goebbels' technique today. If you tell a big lie often enough, people will start to believe it. Nighthawks. Remember Stallone's Nighthawks? What do you remember? What part? Well, I, I just remember mostly Judge Dredd, but... No, that's not Nighthawks. I know. It's a different movie. Yeah, I know. Telling the truth. Rutger Howard. Stallone was hunting him throughout the movie. He was an international terrorist killer who loved to kill young, beautiful women. It shows Howard dancing in a disco with a beautiful girl. So what do you do, she says. I'm an international terrorist. I love to kill beautiful young women. She goes, no, really, what do you do? 
They cut to a scene in her place, strangling her to death. That's where the fool people tell the fucking truth, because people are ignorant. That's my point. Oh, that's kind of like a shoplifter that doesn't act nervous in a store, and they don't keep on looking over their shoulder. What do you do? I like to kill people. Most people go, nah, right. come on, you're right. That's my point I'm trying to get to you. Yeah. That's my point. In other people words, are ignorant and they select the beliefs. They believe what they want to believe, not the truth. I bet a person that doesn't act nervous in a store can shoplift much better than a person who acts who nervous. Knows? Who knows? There's all different types. Because what they say, your serial killers, your mass murderers are great actors. Nobody had a clue about the Iceman of Doom. Nobody knew. That's my point. Because he, he lived... Uh, a rather low profile. And people don't believe the truth. What's the best way to fool somebody? Tell the truth. What are you? Well, I'm an alien. I'm studying your, your race here on planet Earth. No, really, what do you do? Oh, I work over here a little company. Because nobody believes the truth, Jimmy. That's my point. We are ignorant, and ignorance will be our downfall. And I've said that for a while, my dad said that, because people won't believe the truth of it, hit them in the face. And the Rucker Howard thing in the movie, I'm an international character, I love to kill, but no, really, what do you do? He told her exactly what he does. There you go. People don't get it. They don't get it. They're so angry. you want to slap him. Wake up, wake up, this has got to stop. You've got to wake up. You're so ignorant, you people. You people are dumb. No. Well, the fact that that 63% of America didn't vote in the last election is proof how dumb they are. Well, that's, that's lazy. Or that's apathy, true. apathy, that's I'm sorry. laziness and expecting Hillary was going to win. Yeah, well, I think maybe they got a good kick in the butt. They'll turn out this time more. Yeah. Don't assume. Yeah. Well, that's human nature again. Assumptions, yeah. They don't listen. They don't get it. You can't bad again. You can't get through to people. Hey, I didn't know that dry vermouth was actually considered medicine in the Middle Ages until I, I studied it, until I looked it up. You can't get through to people. You, you never stop learning, my friend, no matter how old you get. You never you, stop you learning. You do, and that's when you die. If you stop learning... Oh, yeah, you're right. Well, yeah, yeah. When you, when you, when you assume the, the, the great dirt sleep, room temperature, yeah. I've, I've answered a lot of questions here. That's how you ask questions. Settle the Duke University study. This, bam, bam, bam. Get to the points. Show them. Right. And so I can believe. Oh, I don't believe that. But you do believe it causes cancer. But when you hear about the benefits of smoking, uh, oh, I don't believe that. You have what are called selective beliefs. And that's going to destroy you, I told you. I said, you're ignorant. Like, I didn't know that making moonshine actually went back to Native Americans. Oh, it went God, thousands of years. So well, fermenting beverages is oh, Jesus. Uh, thousands Asian, Egypt of had vodka and whatever. They had beer. So Egyptians. That's the point. People don't get it. And but but the law, because of that stupid ass religious fanatic prohibition, they sure love to bust moonshiners and and, and, well, and some rest of them. Some of the best times in America were prohibition. It's fun when you sneak around. It was fun. Yeah. Doing well, not not when they mix formaldehyde no, with the booze. But it was fun when you had to speak easy. People have the time of their lives. No, but there's an actual reality show called Moonshiners. Hi, buddy. Hi. They're called Moonshine, where they where the cops are going out of their way to bust them. Why? They're making corn whiskey. So big deal. What is the big deal? Still by the uh, midnight moon. And the uh, other one, Smokey. No, I know, but what's it called? It's 196. Brutal. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, that's brutal, man. I almost died from it in college. Oh God. No, no, just What's your typical you know, shot, I guess it, was. it comes in mason jars. No, come on. Well different companies, different jars. I mean, it's not jars. No, but the actual the, the clear corn whiskey known as moonshine. Grain alcohol. That's what I was gonna say. Grain okay. alcohol. Pure grain alcohol. No, but I'm saying there are companies that call it moonshine and it comes in a mason jar. And they're fl and they're flavored. Some of them blueberry, whatever, strawberry. They can make you go blind or kill you. No, no. I'll, I'll, I've tried Midnight. Midnight. Midnight Moon is owned by a famous um, stock car driver from the South. He started a company. There you go. I saw the documentary about Prohibition when there was a famous man who used to sneak in. Hair of the dog. 
That's a good thing. Like, in other words, he was in international waters. Water, okay. He was in international waters. He did the same. The same thing happened to your idea with the offshore casinos. He, he was bringing in during Prohibition the booze on ships, right? Sneaking it in. And all of a sudden, the government decided to change the miles of what was considered um, U.S. waters and but international. But it got better, though. What I was doing was 12 miles. Today it's three miles, Jimmy. They shortened it, international waters. Yeah, but that doesn't that allow commercial fishermen from other countries? I don't know. They're, they're all whatever they call that, poaching where the Japanese water is out west and up yeah. north of the Bering Sea. And the Russian and Japanese commercial oh, boats have fished all, out the whole nor uh, no, northeast. They're all, you know, hedging the bets, so to speak. So. Yeah. I mean, that was a great idea to convert a barge, uh, a cargo ship or a barge into a freaking casino. It wasn't one. You know how big one is? I wanted to do six to eight, so it'd be like a whole bunch of acres. Weld them all together and have that huge acreage on yeah. there and build a casino on it. That's where I had, you know, high-speed boats shuttle people back and forth. And what's wrong with flat-bottom riverboat gambling on the Hudson River? Or, or the Delaware River. They've had on the Mississippi around Iowa and all that yeah. for decades. I don't know why they're not doing it well. They just took it away from Brooklyn or whatever because of the drunkenness. Yeah. People yeah. getting drunk ruined it for everybody. It only takes a small percentage. Just don't be an asshole. Of assholes. Don't right. be an asshole. Why don't can't... stand out there and piss on people's yards and get loud. And... When we went to the Players Club and the Crow's Nest back in the day, you ever run into a real short dude who gets liquid courage and he wants to pick a fight with everybody? Well, that's what probably happens on these. Um, I used to walk by the players. Casino boats. I hear people. I hear people say, "Don't mess with this guy. He knocks the, he'll knock the shit out of you." And I'm, I didn't go attacking anybody. I broke up fights, Jeremy, because I knew I was. Yeah. No, I couldn't be. Beaten. And what about the jerk offs you know, whose wife or girlfriend is dre dressed like a prostitute, and they're saying, "What are you looking at?" What are you looking at? Well, yeah, why is your woman dressed like I that? I just think your, your wife or girlfriend is beautiful. Is there anything wrong with that? Uh, why? Nobody, nobody's allowed to look? Why don't you make her wear, uh, you know, what do you call it? Overalls and what have you. I mean, what? <coughs> how come my girlfriends, when people stare, it never bothered me? Because you're not the jealous type. No. You found it flattering. Yes. Which it is. It is. Why would I get mad at you? But, but this is a common thing with dudes when their girlfriend is that attractive and they're out. They always look to see who's who's checking out the girl. Yes, exactly. Insecurity. Who are you looking at? Your girlfriend. Your girlfriend. Uh, or, or it maybe if the girlfriend has a great body is that so bad and she's not wearing too much in when public. I was the players well numerous times with different girls you know I was there one night standing next to a bunch of guys at the corner where we walked in always stood the guy goes those have got to be the most gorgeous legs in the world I look over I said, oh that's my girlfriend and, and, and the, the point was you went home with her and she was yours and it was flattering I know she was my girlfriend my that is you're, hey, if you want to go with somebody else, fuck you. I don't need you. Is that right? It takes two to do the, yeah, the, the I mean, dance of tango. Yeah, I knew they weren't going to cheat. Nobody cheated on me. No, but I they. Just said, oh, that's my girlfriend. But Thank the you. but the compliment to her is actually a compliment to you. Yeah. How about a guy that's just here saying, "Hey, that's my girl." Hey, what are you looking at? What yeah. are her legs? She's my girl. So, so. I said, oh, that's my girlfriend. Thanks. Why because, am I the opposite of the answer? Because, because you're not an insecure jerk. No. I don't understand these people. Wait, are you getting ready to shove off? Yeah, yeah. All right, I, I, I'm all right. Everybody's a tough guy, Jimmy. You know what I mean? Insecure, yeah. Insecure, tough guy. Well, you know. Did you get the napkins? Yeah, my pocket. Okay. You know, people, it's not that. It's not often the system that causes trouble, it's human nature, it's people that cause trouble. Well, remember the examples I just gave you of selective beliefs. People don't want to believe the truth when you tell it to them. Look, look at alien, alien existence. <laughs> what if I was an alien? What do you do? Oh, I'm down here studying the people on your planet. You know, you know there are Germany. people in China that never heard of, of the uh, alien, the videos over Shanghai of those cigar-shaped it was like as plain as the nose on your Look face. Up in 1947, the U.S. Air Force in the battle with UFOs over Los Angeles. Right. 
Uh, you know. Phoenix, Arizona had had uh-huh. really uh, detailed alien sightings. Coming? Yeah, I'm coming. This has been a Mega Life 21 production.